Hi, it's Gloria Donahue with Nana's Cookery. I'm, and I'm in the kitchen, but I'm sitting down. Last year, I realized that I could do a video of the ornaments that I made, and then I could look at them anytime I wanted to, and I thought that was so much fun. So I decided, I said to Tom, I tell everybody about all the travels we did and how I collect things. And we didn't collect big pieces like great paintings or chairs or anything like that, but things that we could use and things that we could enjoy. And first of all, every night when we sit down at the dinner table, we have a salt and pepper grinder that came from Tour of France. We have a beautiful little creamer and sugar and crackled glass that was made uh, by hand in Stockholm. And we have candle holders from Lucca, Italy. Over here, if we want toothpicks, we can have toothpicks from China. Although I have to trim them because they won't fit over our standard toothpicks. I guess they have shorter ones. This is an interesting little light. We were at a hotel in Costa Rica in San Jose. And this little lamp was there with a votive candle, and it was very charming. And I asked the maitre d' if they were for sale in the shop at the hotel, and he said, yes, they were. So we went up to the shop, which was closed. He was going to find one. He said, no, they didn't have any. And he insisted that I take this one as a gift. So, of course, every time I use it, I think of that wonderful trip. So then I thought, well, what are some of the other things that we bring back? And one of them is ornaments. It's a very reasonable way to buy something and bring it home. And every time you see it, it will remind you of that trip. This is from Bermuda with Bermuda sand in it. This is from Germany. You know my favorite place is Campobello. And here's an egg with a lighthouse. There's a wonderful glass museum, a wonderful factory in Corning, New York. They make beautiful glassware. And this is a beautiful candy cane from Corning, where we went with the grandchildren. This is from Russia. Vancouver, Canada. Of course, I buy, or I'm sorry, Victoria, Canada, which is on Vancouver Island. And that's a, that's a Canadian Mountie, of course. This is... I guess this is a moose. I'm not that sure. I think it's a moose. I don't think it's an elk. I think it's a moose. And that's definitely from Alaska and it's beautifully carved. Uh, this is a reminder that we had wire-haired fox terriers for years and years. And you have seen our son's fox terrier on a couple of the cooking videos. And so this reminds us of when we had those dogs. Uh, this is from South America and we certainly enjoyed our visit there. Uh, this is Niagara on the Lake. And Niagara on the Lake is a wonderful town in Ontario, Canada, not very far from uh, Niagara Falls. And we love going there. They have wonderful plays, the most beautiful flowers you've ever seen. And so I have this ornament and I think another one from Niagara on the Lake. And of course, that shows the horse and carriage that goes through the town and the Canadian flag. Uh, I have a friend who used to have a shell shop in Ocean City, New Jersey, and now has a wonderful shop in Sanibel. The Stranges own the shell shop in Sanibel, Florida. So every time that we visit their shop, I do buy an ornament. So I have a number of different shell ornaments. This little guy is from New Zealand. This is a crab that reminds us of Maryland. For a number of years, we owned a second home down in Maryland. And crabs are so big in Maryland. Everybody loves them. And the other one that reminds us of Maryland is a cow. Because very close to the home that we had was a farm with all of these black and white cows. So that, that was a good memory for us. Uh, this is from Sweden. Uh, really enjoyed our trip there. And another one from Scandinavia is this beautiful one from Denmark. This is more local. This is Louisiana in the United States, in the southern United States. We had a wonderful trip there. This is another one from the United States. This is a cotton bowl. And this is a little angel from Alabama. This is a bell from Holland, from Delft. Holland that is noted for their China. And we loved the trip there. 
this is actually from a company because it says happy holidays from Grand Circle because we have done many, many trips with Grand Circle, including many river trips. And so they had sent this little remembrance for us and it's a great memory for us of the river cruises. This was made by my niece, Chris, who lives in Florida now, but lived in Japan for many, many years. And I have a number of uh, ornaments that she made and some that the kids helped make. This is another little one. This is from Germany. And this is a lighthouse from Corolla, North Carolina, where I was visiting with girlfriends. So really, it's possible to bring home memories from a place that are not expensive. And each time you see them, they will bring back memories of that trip. Thank you for visiting my kitchen. Oh, I forgot. This is my other gift. I got a gift of this blank tea towel, and I asked you people to fill it. And just give me your first name and your continent. And I have a different color for each continent. And these are all the people that I've heard from. And I love to look at it and think of you. So if you haven't sent your name, please feel free to do so. I'd love to add you to the towel. Bye-bye. <laughs>